Hi, this is Tammy, and I wanted to share a couple of albums that I've made for some granddaughters. And um, these are from Kathy Ortofile's um, website called Paper Phenomenon, and it's, the tutorial is Build a Page. Um, that's what it's called. The premise is that there are six base, or you make the same base page, and then there are six different add-ons that you can put on any of the pages. So each album is unique and different as you change things up. So um, the uh, this is eight by six <coughs> by three and uh, three eighths. Um, so it's to me, it's just about. I mean, it's a good sized book, but it's still small enough that it's perfect for a young girl. These are both for um, young teenage granddaughters and um, for Lydia and Issa. Anyway, so let me share with you what they're like. Um, like I said, there's a base page, and then you do a different add on on every one. And I just use scrap paper. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing this year with making albums for each of the grandchildren. We have a lot of grandchildren, so. Um, by using up all the scraps, um, it makes it affordable. Now, this is not in the tutorial. This is something I added, and um, the waterfall uh, cards here. But I like this because you can, you know, say something about it or the date. Put the picture on there. You can put a picture on the back side, whatever. But there's eight of these on each side, so that's 16. You can put up to 16 photos on each side, so that's 32 extra photos. And then there's over 50. You can put 50 plus tags and photos and um, uh, stories, whatever, in this album. Now, I put some basic tags in there, but they, they can add a lot more. Um, every surface can have a picture on it and a story. The more they write on this, on whatever surface they want, the more pictures they put on this, the more it will reflect their life and will be a great memento for years to come. So this one is kind of a cool add-on. It goes up like this, and of course they can use all of this um, space. And then there's the tag, and they can put um, more tags in there. And I love the way that Kathy um, designs these because they're flat. So that leaves room for a lot more photos and um, stories. So that's kind of the room that they have. So there's lots of room to grow and put photos in. Um, in the top of each page, is a bigger um, place. This is um, nine by eight and a half. So, um, you know, lots of room to put more photos and stories on. And I decorated some of the tags a bit, um, but some of them I left the same, but any, they can put pictures anywhere. So this is a little side pocket with some tags. And then here's a cute little side um, pocket. Put things here and here and more tags, and then the big one. Oh, and then there are side tags on some of the pages. So, and then I put little corner um, pockets on some of them. So I really love it because each page is different, and there's a tag in there and a tag on the side, and here. And then here's cute little double pockets. So they come out, and more tags. And I love, um, it's so easy to, to do this for girls because, you know, there's so many cute papers out there for girls. And I'm putting one tag in there, but she can put, you know, five tags in there or pictures or whatever. So this one has a little bottom pocket here. And then I made an extra little pocket down here for some small things. So, um, like I said, each page is different. And then I made a little front pocket on this one and then the bigger pocket. And here's one that's like a belly band. It goes, um, the tag can go all the way through. But that's what I love about it, is that there, it's going to be, both of these books are built on the same premise, but they're the same. And then we always write a note um, to our grandchildren. And so um, the cover's made from chipboard, and everything else is made with cardstock. Um, I usually use the 65 pound uh, smooth cardstock because it works better in this and I can um, score it and it doesn't crack and everything. And I, I used a purple, um, some of Tim Holtz, um, let's see, Dusty Concord uh, 
distress ink to kind of distress some of the edges because as we you know um, not all papers created equal and um, it kind of covers up some of the edges but it also unifies a lot of this where it's um, um, all distressed the same way and anyway I just think that's a really adorable cute album now here is one for Lydia and of course the same premise but it's a totally different book here you have the double pockets over here and side pockets oh and I used a different um, trim on each of them here's more of the dotted uh, scallop and here's a plain scallop and that kind of makes them unique and you know these granddaughters are cousins and so they have kind of the same book yet different and here's the one with the belly band and I just love all of the different um, aspects of this all of the different um, or all of the real estate where um, things can be this one I used just the or, sorry where things can be the same yet different and there's so many creative um, versions this one I kept this the basic page only I added this little pocket here so that's just what the base page looks like so it has the the side tag and the top tag and then the pocket and nothing on the back except for I added that so um, there's just so many options and here's that cute little pocket and here we go and again she has all this space and I'm pretty late getting these done I we have a, like I said a lot of grandkids and kids uh, my husband and I um, came into our marriage with um, different you know with our own children and combined them and some stepkids so there's a lot of grandkids and kids and so um, I love making things for them I I hope that they enjoy them and that they use them and write as much as they can in them and one day I hope to sit down with them and look through them um, with them because it will it will be fun just to see what they've learned about themselves in that year so I hope you enjoyed thanks bye